2018 for Williams has to be one of their worst seasons in their history. The car that they've made for 2018 is absolutely terrible. And despite having two paid drivers, they are still struggling for cash. So because of that, in today's video, I will analyse why Williams could still go bust. With Williams, it's really a story of how the mighty have fallen. This team once upon a time was dominating the sport, but instead now they're dominating the back row of each grid. But I really do think sometimes that people forget how great and successful this team was. In Williams' collective history, they've won 114 races with 128 poles, with also 243 podiums and over 3,000 points, and have also won quite a few titles with 7 drivers titles and 9 constructors titles, as the team have completed 687 races and 42 seasons. And they've also had plenty of legendary driver world champions. Drivers such as Alan Jones, Keke Rosberg, Nelson Piquet and Nigel Mansell. With the three later ones being Alain Prost, Damon Hill and Jacques Villeneuve. And have also had other great drivers that never went on to win a title with the team. Drivers like Mario Andretti, Ayrton Senna, Jensen Button and Rubens Barrichello. All of those stats there just show how great of a team that Williams is. Or should I say, was because since their last title with Jacques Villeneuve in 1997, they have fallen off massively, and have now become something that 20 years ago no one thought they would become. But this is what happens when you do not make those right decisions. But how did Williams get into this position? After Adrian Newey and Renault left them in 1997, they struggled in 98 and 99, as they were struggling with poor engines and also poor aero. But once they partnered with BMW again, they became very quick. And during those BMW days, they did have one chance in 2003 to win the world title. But sadly for them, it just never came about. But after Williams and BMW split, Williams got worse. Where here or there, they would get some podiums, but nothing more than that. Then fast forward to 2012, they finally won a race again. But the pace of the car, sadly for Williams, was just a one-off. As for most of this period of time, they weren't really getting any better. And even though after the 2014 regulation change, they did improve the car quite a lot, they underachieved by not getting a race win during this period. And progressively since 2014, Williams have just got worse. Which is why right now Williams are the worst team in Formula 1. But this slow demise of the Williams team does ring a bell. Because it has happened to other teams that sadly are no longer with us. For example, in the 60s and 70s, Lotus provided some of the best racing cars of all time. With team boss and designer Colin Chapman the pioneer of this success. And with the amount of great cars that they continued to produce, it seemed like it would never end. But after the sad passing of Colin Chapman in the early 1980s, Lotus's downfall began. As after that, Lotus would not go on to win another world title despite Ayrton Senna driving for Lotus. And once Senna left, it got even worse. As in the early 90s, they slipped into the midfield battle. And by 1995, Lotus were gone. Another example of this is Tyrrell, who in the early 70s with Jackie Stewart were winning world titles and designing great cars. But once he left, they would never win a world title again. And progressively through the years, their team just got worse. Don't get me wrong, they would still have some good finishes like a third or a fourth. But it would not be like those race wins and world titles they were having with Jackie Stewart. And after an absolutely awful 1998 season, Tyrrell were gone. And a third example of this is the Brabham team. In the 60s with their creator Jack Brabham, they were doing very well. Winning races and winning world championships. In the 70s, they would not be as good, but they were still winning Grand Prix. But once the 80s came around, they were winning world titles again, this time with Nelson Piquet. But as soon as Piquet left, that team went downhill. As also by the mid-1990s, Brabham were gone. Those right there are three clear examples as to why Williams really could go out of business. Because with those three teams, no one ever saw them going out of business. So why could it not happen to Williams? But if Williams are to avoid this, what do they have to do? One, they must get a new leader of that team instead of Claire Williams. Someone who has the personality of her dad or even Patrick Head. Now it does not have to be them, just someone like them. Someone who has the guts to make those big decisions. Also, let's be honest, Williams have not designed a good racing car for a very long time. And I'd have to say they have not designed a great car since the 90s. 
And even though Williams do not have a massive amount of money, that is just not good enough. There is surely a designer out there that would help them. So how they have not found one in 20 years, I don't know. They also have the really bad news that Martini, their biggest sponsor, are leaving at the end of 2018. Once Martini go, Williams are really going to be struggling for cash. And they absolutely have to get a replacement for Martini. Because if they don't, this team is guaranteed to go under. And of course they have the problem of their drivers. Two drivers who are just not good enough for F1, let's be honest. They're not experienced enough to deal with such a poor car. And generally, they're just crap. If Williams actually had good drivers in this car, it may be better than we actually think it is. Because I think if you put a much better driver in this car, they could get some good results. But we're never going to know that because Williams are obsessed with the money. That is the only reason that Stroll and Sorokin are at Williams. They are not there for their driving talent. There is no way. So if Williams do make these changes, you know what? They could get better. But if I'm being totally honest, I don't think they'll make any of these. And this is a very sad thing to say, but I think it's true. I think Williams will go out of business. The warning signs are right there for them to see, but they're not seeing them. And I don't think the people running the Williams team actually care anymore. They have gone from one of the most liked teams on the grid that used to be very, very successful to now where they have an awful car and are quite frankly a laughing stock. And really the only people I feel sorry for are the Williams fans because they have seen this team get worse and worse and worse for 20 straight years. And it's got to the point now I think that there's no real fans of the team left. Because they're so poor and they're never going to change their ways. Why support them? But again, as I have said, this is what happens when you make such poor decisions. And because of that, I just cannot feel sorry for the Williams team. I can't. If you keep on making awful decisions which puts you in a bad situation, I can't feel sorry for you. And no one, and I mean no one, should feel sorry for you. And I think the final nail in the Williams coffin was their driver lineup selection. Why not go for a driver lineup like George Russell and Pascal Verline? Two young drivers who are very, very quick and in the future are going to be actually good racing drivers instead of Stroll and Sorokin who are not going to be good. I can guarantee you that now. So yeah, guys, I think Williams sadly are done. When will it happen? I don't really know. It will probably be within the next five years. And if eventually that does happen... The fans of the Williams team do not deserve it, but the team does. And this image right here is a perfect description of Williams. A massive dumpster fire. And this is what the team is going to look like until they go out of business. So for Williams fans everywhere, get ready. Because this embarrassing tale of a what's great team is not over. But anyway guys, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget guys, I will be back tomorrow again with another video. And also don't forget to join the Chazza HD F1 community on Discord. If you want to join them, the link is in the description. Comment down below what you thought of this video and comment down below, do you think Williams will go out of business? Please comment down below what you think about those topics and until next time, it's been me Chazza HD, goodbye.